Hi, I'm Michael Fosvick, pioneer field agronomist here in southeast Iowa. Today we're at a plot in Washington County, Iowa today. Last week we had some optimal planting conditions with great field conditions, 75 to 80 degree temperatures and 55 to 60 degree soil temperatures, which created an optimal window for planting. These soybeans were planted a week ago today and have accumulated about 90 growing degree units um, as of today. Beans need about 90 to 130 growing degree units, depending on soil type, seeding depth, residue levels, and those sorts of things in order to emerge through the soil surface. Unfortunately, in about three days, we do have a potential frost event in the forecast. If we get below 32 degrees, there is the potential for damage to occur. If we get down to 28 degrees for three to four hours, that's where we can see the possibility of seedling death. One thing we'll want to look at following this frost event is first and foremost, we need to have some patience. We need to allow a couple days for those soybeans to recover. If these soybeans are right at the surface at the cracking stage, they're going to be much more tolerant for this frost event. However, if they are fully emerged, we're going to want to assess the hypocotyl for any brown um, discoloration or shrunkenness. Um, and if we do see some of those symptoms, unfortunately, we could have some stand loss due to death. When we work with colder planting conditions or colder, so colder soil temperatures and wetter conditions, we do run the risk of some disease of blights, rots, um, soy, sudden death syndrome infections, as well as pythium. That's where seed treatments are extremely valuable um, in these types of environments. If we are planting here ahead of a cold weather event, such as the one coming up here, we wanna make sure we allow 24 to 48 hours to ensure we've got plenty of time for that seed to get a warm drink of water and imbibe some warm water to, uh, to start its journey on the right foot. So be safe out there, have good luck this season, and thank you for your business. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.